Alright, so in this problem, I have x minus 4 to the power 4 is equal to x to the power 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract x to the power of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x minus 4 to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite x minus 4 to the power of 4 as x minus 4 squared to the power of 2. Now I have this minus x squared to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now if I have something in form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I'm going to have x minus 4 squared plus x squared times x minus 4 squared minus x squared is equal to 0. x minus 4 squared, that's going to be x squared minus ax plus 16. Now I have this plus x squared times x squared minus ax plus 16 minus x squared is equal to 0. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared, sorry, x squares add up. So 2x squared minus ax plus 16 times negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So now, this gives me two equations. I have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0, and I have negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So first off, for negative 8x plus 16 equals 0, I get 16 is equal to 8x, and x equals 2. So this is one solution of x. Now, for 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 0, I'm going to first start by factoring out 2, so I get 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. Now I have x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0 because I divide by both sides by 2. And now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is 8. So I have x is equal to negative of negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 8 all over 2 times 1. This is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32 is negative 16 all over 2 which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. The square root of 16 is 4 so now I have x is equal to 4 plus or minus 4. The square root of negative 1 is i over 2 which is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. So these are my three solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. So I'm going to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. Now, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log of 100 to the power of x is equal to log 200. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 100 is equal to log 200. Now if I divide both sides by log 100, these two cancel out and I have x is equal to log 200 over log 100. Now 200, that's the same thing as 100 times 2. Now I have this over log 100. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 100 times 2, that's equal to log 100 plus log 2. And I have this over 
log 100. Now, log 100 plus log 2 over log 100, that's the same thing as log 100 over log 100 plus log 2 over log 100. And log 100 over log 100, those two simply cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 100. Now 100 here, this is the same thing as 10 squared. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log of 10 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, you can move this to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over 2 times log 10 is simply 1. And log of 2, that's equal to 0 0.301 over 2 which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1505, which is equal to 1.1505. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. And I want to find the most simplified form of this problem. So I actually have four answer choices for this problem. So for answer choice A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For answer choice B, I have 9 to the power of 30. For answer choice C, I have 27 to the power of 10. And finally, for answer choice D, I have 3 to the power of 21. So we're going to actually go ahead and check each individual answer choice and see which one uses the right exponential rules to get the correct simplified answer. So let's first start with a which is 27 to the power of 30. So to get this what has likely been done is they added all of the bases as well as the exponents. And 9 plus 9 plus 9, that's 27. 10 plus 10 plus 10, that's 30. So that's how they got the answer. And this is actually wrong. That's not the right way to add exponents. Now for B, we have 9 to the power of 30. And to get this, what's likely been done is keeping the base the same as it is. So all the bases are 9, so we keep that the same. And then we add all the exponents. So we do 9 to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10. And 10 plus 10 plus 10, that's 30. And 9 stays the same. So I have 9 to the power of 30. And this is actually wrong as well. That's also not the right way to add exponents. Now for C, we have 27 to the power of 10. How you get this is you add all the bases and keep the exponent the same. So you do 9 plus 9 plus 9 to the power of 10. We keep the uh, exponent 10 the same. 9 plus 9 plus 9, that's 27. So we have 27 to the power of 10. That's how you got the end of this answer. And that is wrong as well. That's not the right way to add exponents. Finally, we have 3 to the power of 21. And by process of elimination, this is obviously the right answer. But let's see how we actually get this. So we first do 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. And now if I factor out 9 to the power of 10, I get 9 to the power of 10 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 9 to the power of 10 times 3. 9 to the power of 10, that's the same thing as 3 squared to the power of 10 times 3, which is equal to 3 to the power of 20 times 3 to the power of 1, which is equal to 3 to the power of 21. So that is our answer. 